in critical condition. How you can help straight ahead. The news station, WATE TV Knoxville. This is 6 News at 11. Well, for more than 15 years, Appalachian Bear Rescue in Townsend has been helping abandoned black bear cubs. On Friday, the group received their fourth cub this year. This new baby bear was found by park rangers and is currently in critical condition. In tonight's top story, 6 News reporter John Salt finds out what you can do to help these cubs return to the wild. Spring is when things get really busy at the Appalachian Bear Rescue. We started on the first day of spring taking in our first bear cub weighing three and a half pounds and he came to us from Gatlinburg. A week later he was followed by two more that were orphaned when their mother was shot in Polk County. And yesterday the park rangers found another very young, very small, needy cub um, at three and a half pounds who is in critical condition. She's getting specialized care now, she's had medical attention and she's being fed around the clock and offered antibiotics and other medical treatments to pull her through. Lisa Stewart, the curator for ABR, says in 2009 they had a record year with 23 cubs taken in. She says they are on the same track this year for another large number. We can expect about $3,000 per cub in order to um, give it everything that it needs to put it back out by the end of the year or the following spring. Apples? Apples? A food donation barrel at the Village Market IGA in Townsend helps with feeding the cubs. It's amazing how much food is donated here at this grocery store in Townsend. It makes up 50% of what the bears eat. They get donations of dog food, apples, and something that baby bears need is right up here on this top shelf. It's Gerber rice cereal, and this is something else people can donate. Without the bears, you really don't have the Smokies. And people don't understand really how much Lisa does to make sure the bears survive and, and they're healthy. A majority of the money used to help these bears comes from public donations. Stewart says they are always in need of more. We're just hoping that most of the cases are that the cubs can stay with their mothers in the wild and learn the, les the lessons that they need in order to survive. But as we've already been faced with the four admittances that we have now, we know that that can't be perfect. So that's why we do our job and jump into action that we need to do quickly for these bears that need our care. They hope to release these four cubs by their first birthday. In Townsend, Josh Alt, 6 News. ABR is one of only three black bear rescue groups in the country. They've helped cubs in states all over the southeast. Appalachian Bear Rescue, though, is not open to the public. They have to limit the cubs' contact with humans so they can eventually return to the wild. But there are several ways you can help to find out how.